Namaste my friends, welcome to my channel. I am Masha and as you can see from the title I'm coming to you today with rather an exciting unboxing of the newest DAG that arrived yesterday. But uh, yeah, so I did hold on to the DAG to unbox it today with you because yesterday was not the most easiest and the most relaxing days for us here in New South Wales uh, state of Australia. Yesterday, um, the gyms and the yoga studios, they closed their doors along with uh, many other businesses and um, and uh, uh, well, uh, uh, places of public gatherings, I guess. And um, yeah, with yoga teachers, um, a lot of uh, uncertainty um, is at the moment because um, pretty much all of us are uh, self-employed. means that if you don't teach, we lose the income, but now the government um, uh, possibly will be sub subsidizing uh, those things. But anyway, so yesterday it was the day when we kind of had to uh, announce the closure, uh, indefinite closure of our yoga studios and centers to our community. And um, yes, yeah, so I taught my last classes yesterday, I had one of my classes, gentle yoga class recorded, hopefully to be of service to to uh, our regular yoga students in one of the places that uh, where I teach. But uh, I'm okay and, uh, and I do realize uh, while it's a time of uncertainty and difficulty and um, uh, yeah, for many of us, uh, it's also we need to be responsible, we need to stay safe and we need to make sure that our community is safe so for us to heal and come out on the, um, on the other side, uh, better, more conscious kind of beings. But anyway, so enough of that. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to share with you a little bit of joy of my new DAG. Of course, um, yeah, you see in the description and the title uh, title of the video below that this DAG is by Pablo Robledo, and this came all the way from uh, from Chile. Chile. It did take a while because of the delays with postage and also quite um, well, not the closest to Australia place and. Um, uh, I will, um, yeah, so uh, if, you, if you're if interested where to get this deck, um, if you go to Pablo Robledo's Facebook page, uh, you will find some of the decks that he refers to his friend, Octavio, who sells them now from Chile and he ships internationally. But again, now with, uh, uh, with the postal services delays, I don't know how long it's going to take and whether he will be able to post it at the mo post the decks at the moment. But I was very fortunate and I got this one in my hands yesterday. And this video is not going to be too long because this one is the only major major arcana deck, so they are the only trumps. And uh, now I'll just get opening. Yes, yeah, so as you know that uh, I love my Tarot de Marseille and even more so than using the full deck, I actually do prefer and uh, I read with trumps only. And uh, for Camellia courses and now the one that I'm doing with, uh, with homework, I'm, I'm very behind. Um, I've been using majors only, so I was very excited that I could actually get this deck. I, I wanted it for a while, but I kept missing out on this one. Oh, it's, it's very nicely packed. But anyway, uh, I hope you are all staying safe and well. I need to speed this video up a little bit because the uh, yeah it's it's really nicely the um the deck is packed really nicely, kind of comes in a little box like that. It's only light and tiny as I mentioned because there are only twenty two cards probably with an art card as well. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, while I'm unpacking, kind of probably should tell you which deck is this. This one is the Tarot of Paris by Pablo Rabledo. And um, how the deck came to life uh, in, I think it was in 2015, 2015, when Pablo Rabledo, he created his own woodcuts um, for, for tarot decks. And uh, those woodcuts, they were influenced by rather a number of decks, uh, historic decks, of course, tarot de Marseille historic decks, including, um, um, well, Dodal, of course, and uh, Convert deck, Madeni, uh, uh, Terra de Marseille, Claude Burdell, among others, and, and a few others, and I mean, 
Yay, we are in. Okay. Oh, there is more packaging inside. <laughs> yeah and uh, and and uh, well if you have been watching my channel for a while you uh you know how much i love pablo robledo's decks he's marcella tero and he's uh, dodal tero that um was um released last year um my my absolute favorite uh, favorite decks hence of course i need it and we just only deck from uh from pablo all right, so I've got the paper wrapping here. The box is really, I messed it up, but you can see it's, it's really nicely packed. And here we have it. Wrapped in nice paper. Terra de Paris, Pablo Robledo of Argentina. So they are the wrapping. I love those um, old style wrapping uh, decks wrapped in paper that Pablo Robledo does and Sullivan Hisman's of Tarashit Revival along with Yves Renaud. So it comes um, like so with Pablo Robledo's logo and a little um, kind of paper wrapping that we can slide. And here an extra card. And I trust here, it's, it's all in Spanish, but I trust here he explains that uh, the woodcuts that he created um, for this deck and a few of his other decks are based on his study of other historic decks. And mine, I'm actually very fortunate. Mine appears to be cop uh, number 17 out of 77. And it's signed as of April um, last year, 17th of April, 2019. But let's just have a look, a uh, size comparison. They're the beautiful bags, as you can see, they're just so beautiful. And then I will use my um, uh, blushing full, just a card here to give you a little size comparison. So as you can see, uh, Pablo's decks, most of them, all, I, 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 the ones that I have are about that size. They're a bit smaller. And I guess in line for, uh, with the traditional Terra de Marseille that was a bit smaller. And, uh, and if you're interested with measuring, and I can only give you centimeters, that's what I'm used to. The width of the card is um, five and a half centimeters, and the height is um, ten and a half centimeters. Uh, the card stock uh, is matte and velvety. If you have Pablo's uh, Robledo's decks, not the Marseille one, but if you have his most recent Dodal deck or a Van der Boer deck, it's uh, it's that cardstock. I want to say it's the same cardstock. It's matte finish and it's velvety and uh, it does have this kind of rose petal feel to it, right? So it's a beautiful, beautiful cardstock. The corners are sharp, but well, if you know me, you know that I will be rounding them. I will be using the smallest corner rounder. And in fact, I did mention in my videos prior videos uh, when I was talking about Pablo Robledo's Dodal deck that I have and love and um, my absolute, fa uh, well, one of my absolute favorites, Pablo actually himself suggested to, uh, to round the corners, although he suggested doing it by hand. So yeah, the backs are now I will uh, turn the camera over and uh, we'll have a look at those beautiful 22 cards of uh, Terra de Paris by Pablo Robledo and this one is Le Quart. 1889 is the full name of this particular deck. Hmm, to show you the wrapping paper up close. Beautiful. Here we see Terra de Paris. Pablo Robledo. Mm. So of course we have 2015 here is when Pablo made his woodcuts and minus 17 out of 77 of that recent edition of uh, 2019 and there are the bags which are just beautiful. Straight on, we can see how gorgeous those colors are, and the light is actually pretty good here. So the colors, what I what I see through the camera, oh, above the camera, and what you see, is actually quite um, rather accurate coloration. Oh, 
So of course the uh, coloration is based on 1889 Le Quart. Diacon Le Quart was a Cartier card house in Paris. And also the coloration is based on, uh, well, if you look at the full deck, I think I trust, and correct me if I'm wrong, please, uh, that was attributed or signed by Arnold. And my pronunciation may be completely off on that. The Empress, gorgeous cards. Emperor. Lovers, so straight away we can see that Pablo's Pablo Robledo's wood cut they cut away based on type 2 Terra de Marseille. The cupid is not blindfolded here. And of course, we see the initials PR Pablo Robledo on the shield of the chariot. But as I did mention in the beginning of the video, that uh, initial woodcuts, they were, I guess, inspired, influenced, and based on uh, Pablo Robledo's studies of a variety of ducks. But don't you love the coloration here? It's eye candy for me. So we can see the backgrounds, they are not uh, white. They are more kind of creamish, once again, very rose petal feel, velvety feel to the cardstock is rather flexible, but rather thick, really good quality cardstock. of the temperance as well oh look at them <laughs> almost lime yellow little creatures In Grimaud deck, uh, I think um, the star has blue flowers. It's just so sharp and beautiful. Sun cards, I do love that one. It's standing a little bit on the higher ground than the other human figure. Let's look at the colorations here. The turquoise blue. Beautiful world card. And then we have um, the last card is the one, well, I guess that's probably will be the artist card, right? And this one would be just um, the number card. This one, that oh, yeah, it does have actually a back. As well. Yeah, so I just wanted to quickly show you. I've just uh, rounded the corners and I use uh, this particular corner rounder. It's got, uh, you can choose between, and you probably, yeah, you can see here, uh, large, medium, or small. So I use the smaller setting on that. And you can see, and what I love about those cards, that they do feel old and uh, they're imperfection in terms of cutting, hand cutting. So the, um, the uh, borders can be a little bit narrow or a little bit uh, wider, which I absolutely love. And I think with those small corners, this dark looks beautiful. So nice. And these are the cards of my newest uh, Terra de Marseille deck, which has just become one of my favorites as well. I do and respect very much love Pablo Robledo's work and what he has done uh, for the recovery and reproduction of beautiful historic Terra de Marseille decks. I adore the bright coloration in this particular deck. And uh, if you do have Pablo's Marcella deck, Marseilla, or his Dodal deck, Pablo Robledo's Dodal um, of last year or previous editions, or if you're kind of thinking of getting them in the future, 
and would like to see them side by side with this particular beauty, please let me know in the comments below and I will then record a video as part of my Geeking Out on Marseille series featuring um, those decks or the requested decks if you are interested. But I would love to hear from you, what do you think of this deck? And uh, I'm also very curious whether you read with the trumps only and whether you enjoy reading with the major arcana only. So yeah, I would love to hear from you on that. And uh, for now, that's all from me today. I hope you are safe and, uh, and I love all of you and sending you lots of love and light. Namaste.